you know, it went down. It went down. It was it was good. Um, but also, you know what's going on, honey? We're getting ready for that big fight. Yes. Is yes. that Mattier versus uh, uh, Mary uh, Mayweather? Mayweather. Mayweather and Pacquiao. Yeah. Child, you know I don't follow sports. You know, ever since the Dodgers played the Lakers in the Super Bowl. Yeah. You know, I watch watch. <laughs> So what's going on in your world, little you nigga? The world is, life is a gift every single day, you know? Yeah. Getting outside the box, trying new things. I mean, skiing. Doing dirt bike riding, uh, doing my horse, and you know, I want to go. Wait, 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 wait. You, you, you're skiing? Yes. They allow our people to ski? Yes, I know. It's something new for me. Too. <laughs> my ass cheeks still hurt. That part. Yeah. That part. Yeah, I can do skiing. It's something about something rolling down some snow. I never count on with little things like skiing and, yeah. you know, riding a bike. That's right. Okay. Yeah. 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 Guess who my guest is today on my show? That? That? Honey, I want you that? to stay here and meet her. Her name is Shannon the Queen. The Queen. And when I say honey, she is one of the queens of comedy. Vegas oh, don't even know yeah. about her. They've been sleeping on her, and I'm about to bring her to my show. Do you want to sit down and um yeah. be here when we yeah. talk to her? Yeah. That's what it do do. Yeah. So you thoughts? I need to be the queen. Yeah, it's honey thoughts. No, we don't do thoughts on the sexy Lexi show. We only do after thoughts. <laughs> Since he was in the ninth grade, we went to school together, we went to Mojave. 
Mo Javi. Mo Javi. So you yes. lived in Vegas all my life. 702 Sin City. Uh, oh my God, you read it in? I read it in. Yes. <laughs> so you been in, in the Vegas as the SRO as the SRS. <laughs> Um, the first person that put me on a stage was Mike P. Thank you, Mike. Oh, I was like, yes. Mike P. Was a stranger to the uh, He was actually the first person that actually had faith in me and put me on stage. Oh. So shout out to Mike P. I yeah, because you know Mike P. Too. Yeah, y'all roll in the same circles. Oh yeah, yeah. Now let me ask you a question, since I got both of y'all on stage. Um, have you heard of the coffee tea or me that she's performing at tonight? Have I heard of that? You know, yeah. Craig Park is doing his set. Craig Park, shout out to Craig Park. Yes, yes, yes honey. Yeah. yeah. I so, uh, and yeah, now let me tell you a little secret tea about Craig Park. Okay. Craig Park, I'd like you to stop the tape right now and not watch this. <laughs> now, you know Craig Park, honey, used to be known for his, um, stripping. Yeah, he used to give him a neck. I see him. Little little neck. Little little neck. Amazing person, Mike yes, is so freaking nice. awesome. Yes, yes. Now let me ask you a question. A lot of people think of comedy as you could just wake up and go get on stage and tell some jokes. It really takes a little. And you know work. what? It's funny that you said that because that's how I thought when I first came in the scenery. Like, and then when I first got on stage, wasn't nobody laughing at me? Oh, oh no. <laughs> no, no, no! And I was trying to cute, but, uh... <laughs> tell a joke. Hold on. <laughs> Yeah, I actually had to take um, acting school, so I went to acting school for a year, and um, we got to be more comfortable with being who I am as a person, just being real. So my jokes, when I tell jokes, I'm telling the truth. You know, I'm not, I'm not bullshitting. I'm not, I'm not sugarcoating nothing. I'm blunt. I'm, I'm, I'm representing for the ladies. Because us ladies, we've been through so much in that. Can't nobody say that we don't go through a lot as far as males putting us through stuff, putting us through shit. Woo. Hallelujah. Yeah, I'm yeah. 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 Cause girl, you like yeah, girl, what I'm like, saying the easy for. <laughs> I was all that. I was engaged about two, three months ago. I took that ring off. Two, three months ago, got the necklace, girl. I took the ring back and got a necklace. Oh, oh yeah. He wasn't supportive. Yes, honey. Let me awesome. tell you. If you ladies did not just hear, let me re reiterate that. You don't give it back, honey. If you don't want to marry the man, you still <laughs> <say>. right. <laughs> Me in for more jewelry now. Exactly. <laughs> that part. Well, you know, honey, if you ever get engaged, you get you know sexy Lexi events. We'd be more than happy to have the wedding ring, which is my company that I have. Okay. You know. I don't know when that's gonna be done. I don't, I don't see myself being married. No. Well, y'all are all invited to my wedding. I'm getting married on the 33rd. Oh, uh, never married. And I'm keeping it. So <laughs> I'm done with the whole bear thing. Shout out to my husband. Anyways. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> but anyway, are you married? No. You're not. Not that. You out? She might. What's up? You've been a lot, but uh. <laughs> you should have watched episode three. So yeah, so Mike is freely single. Yeah. And ready to mingle. <laughs> and so we might have to go up to the coffee tea and me. I need him to get out like coffee, meat, and treats. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> they go, honey, yeah. Coffee okay. is a very relaxing spot. They sell ice cream, they sell coffee, they have me there. They oh, have that's a bunch of they got Craig Park's talk. They got a whole bunch of talk there that's gonna yeah. make you laughing with tears. But it's not alcohol there. If you wanna get drunk, go to your car, come back after you know, you wanna get high. <laughs> not go to your car. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to your car. 
I'm not saying. I'm not saying. I'm not saying. It's like my grandmother always said, if you gonna get up and get drunk, then you might as well. You are fat, you lost the tea. Thank you. Now, um, you're gonna be doing tonight. Do you have any other thing lined up right now? Um, do I have other things lined up? Tonight I'll be at Coffee Tea Union, of course. Tomorrow night I'll be at um, CEO Luna, I mean CEO Luca Lounge. Yeah. Luca Lounge. There you go. And um, AK, AK, she's a comedian. I don't know if y'all familiar with her. I am very, very familiar with AK. She's the goddess of the comedy world. She's a host there at CEO Luca Lounge. Yes. AKA we worked together with her before. Remember those yes, days? Um, I have an events company, like I said, called Sexy Like C Events, and she was blessed us with one of our last oh, yes. um, events we had for the breast cancer awareness. So oh, yeah, okay. she's an amazing person, funny. Yeah, she is. Yeah. Yeah. I love her. I'm gonna warn you. There is some hating. That, there is a little bit of hating that goes oh, on. Yeah, most. Cause I know you got a couple side yeah. eyes. Most oh, definitely. You know what? Mm -hmm. I don't even approach it. Ha! I play along with the shit. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I can feel the vibe. Because a lot of people, they don't want to do the work. It takes doing the work. If you're going to be a rapper, it's not enough just to run go itself. You got to actually put your heart into it and bring it out. You know what I mean? Rappers. Um, I, my homegirl, she's a rapper. Her name is Misfit. She's out here doing her thing. Misfit. Yeah. I Misfit. Yeah. She's doing her thing. She's the best female rapper in Las Vegas. Hands down. Yeah. Yes. Well, see, I don't know if she's the best one because my auntie stuttered. No. She, she, she can be getting down back. Make little Wayne jealous. But, oh my God. So let me ask you a question. Now that you're here and you've been in Vegas, what do you see yourself going? What would you like to do in the next couple of years? Where do you see yourself? Uh, I'm actually in school right now. Oh, you are? Yes. I was smart. Yeah. smart. What do you think about smart chick? <laughs> smart and funny. Yeah. <laughs> so crazy. I go to school for dental assistance, so I see myself going down that line. But who knows what God has open for me? That, but I always need something to fall on. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Mess this up. So oh my God, honey. Let me ask you this question. I know this totally ain't got nothing to do with you, but I just need to talk, talk about. Do you watch your Housewives? Girl, housewives. Other than that. Girls ain't loyal. Girl, man. They really need to call it the ex housewives. Yeah. Because can't know how to keep a husband, baby right. husband in jail. Um, you know, Portia husband. What am I saying, man? Um, <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, no. I get it. I try to get into something like that. It's just ratchet, man. It is ratchet. It's ratchet with a couple of dollars. Like, you got a little money, but you still ratchet. Right. No, there's nothing classy about it. Exactly. I, I hope they hired me. <laughs> <laughs> so, my thing is, but a lot of this, the reason I asked about the Housewives of Atlanta, and I also want to make references about what's going on in Baltimore, because you have these ladies who have this big platform, and they can be doing so much and reaching so many people, but you choose to pull leaves, talk crap, and eat cake. I don't think nothing's wrong with the third one, but um, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, why aren't you like the Felicia Rashads of our community? Why aren't you raising the bar? Why aren't you showing it's okay to be a classy black woman? It's okay not to be on there showing, as my grandmother would say, our naturally black yeah, that was how she said. But yes, I really feel that it needs to be more positive black people out there. That's why I wanted to have you on my show because you are a very strong black woman. Yes, you're funny, but you know what I'm saying? You take this very seriously. Put a lot of work into the craft. You went to your um, acting school, and because you have a mother, because you are a mother, I like the fact that you're a dental school. And you gotta get that money coming from all directions. <laughs> Everyone, how they book you? Do you have? Um, tell about your Twitter, your Instagram. What do you got going? I got an Instagram. I'm Shannon the Queen 02 on Instagram. Y'all can check me out on Instagram. Also, I'm on Facebook, Shannon the Queen Butler on Facebook. I like, I comment, I share. I ain't no funny acting on Facebook. I talk shit. It is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> and I and also post a lot of positive stuff, mm -hmm. and I reach out to my. Thank you.
Kazuki. Because this, this yeah. I don't know what's going on with this generation, y'all. Because the booty's on the sink and all that. They're walking around here in panties. Right, like where's your mom? They can have mamas no more. They got thoughts. Yeah, they got they got thoughts. Yeah, mamas are making no better. They on their both their booties on the side. Right, both. Mama and the daughter just. Yeah, they just both. Booty reunion, all of them. And that's all of really is. Like booty, 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 booty over there. Right. Booty, 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 booty over brain. Yeah. They got no sex no more. Because nobody wants nothing. It's a man with your body. It's all about your brain. Now you can't hit for about two, three hours. That's it. But then you gotta return them. <laughs> then you gotta return them. Then you gotta return them. Yeah. Yeah. What time is it? <laughs> right, you leave us. <laughs> now, do you think you can find love in the club? Is there any love in the club? I don't. I don't think that's the right spot to try to yeah. find a husband. Well, well, I went to church, honey. It's hard to find a church. church, right? And I, go, I don't think you can find people in a good Christian. I think a lot of Christian people go to the club. And they come to the club. So it's like, I can go to church at the SRO. Yeah. I go to club at the uh, Blue Martini. Um, the Lord is everywhere. Yeah. Um, people just yeah. speak it religiously. You know what? Church is good. I go to church. My church is really good. I go to New Creation. Um, but as far as going to church looking for a relationship, I don't think that's the right mindset. No. You never, whenever you're looking for a relationship, you never find it. You, never find it. you know, when you're busy and you're doing your work and you got everything going on. Out. Us women are not supposed to go looking. No. The man is supposed to find us. That's why. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why ain't nobody married. Right. That's why. Hell. You know, people are so scared of marrying nowadays. They're like, look, honey, the preachers is losing work. You gotta legalize gay marriage or something because they ain't hey, nobody trying to go to the altar. You know? Nowadays, you're not. Is based off the of social networking. Y'all know the WCWs, yeah, the MCs. But you know, Facebook and all that, you can break a relationship that way. That's enough about all that. Now, honey, let me get back to why I really brought you here. Okay. Now, like I said, I have a company called Sexy Lexi Events at the sexylexievents.com. Um, a little census plug. But girl, we are doing a, um, a talent show. And the reason for the talent show is not just because I know Las Vegas has amazing talent. It's for autism. Okay. And my friend Ashley Parentes, her son is autistic. And it really touches my heart. And when she was on my show, I said I really wanted to do something that would be able to touch her and to be able to get everyone involved. So the proceeds for this talent show is going to the Autism and the Hope for Messiah Foundation. Would you be a part of it? Absolutely. Oh, thank you so much. I would love to be a part of that. Thank you so much. No, thank it you. would be yeah. everything to me. Okay. <laughs> now, you know the nigga going to be there? What? Is he going to be in the house? <laughs> well, I don't know if he'll be naked or not, but you know. I'm going to be naked. Because, honey, the reason they call him little naked is not because he just finds all that thing, honey. They call him little naked because if you follow him on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, he's raw. As raw as they come. Yeah, honey. baby. He's yeah. going to let you know about yourself. About your baby daddy, about your hair, right. about them drawers you've been wearing for the last three days. He's gonna tell you. <laughs> Why your shoes leaning? Yeah, Why yeah, you yeah. Your yeah. Have you heard of Amy's poetry? Poetry? Yeah, you do baby. poetry? Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Well, let me hear yes. something. Hey, let me. Can I hear something? Yes. Hey, ladies and the gentlemen in the audience, would you guys like to hear Little Naked read his poem? in things just a little bit naked. Don't you touch that YouTube, honey. Yes, it's all a little bit naked. Three, two. So glad I found you. Voice of heaven, touch of a goddess. Eyes of an angel, lips that cannot tell a lie, and a heart that can only deliver smiles. Tears are nowhere in your circle, in direction of peace and life's the very nature of you. That makes you stand out like a patient, and be patient in every word of it. And strong enough to push my faith higher and higher, higher than the clouds above. And that reassured me that there is a God, and I believe in you. So glad I found you. Naked. Down, 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 down
Chicken Fat. Welcome back to the Sexy Lexi Show. This is Lil Naked and this is the Takeover. Matter of fact, we finna be a part of here. It's about that time, but uh, it's naked. We out. We out. We out. Hey, look for me. L I L Naked at Instagram, is it? Com? What is it called? Yeah, that's me. L I L Naked, the poet. Instagram. Facebook, M Z S T A M Y K. That's Mr. Mike, baby. Little Naked Deport, and we out. We out. We out. Peace.